Today there will be several speakers and actors um, trying to join forces to look at climate change uh, and how resilience can be built to address these uh, increasing number of disasters, the frequency but also the intensity. found that we have a good agreement that prevention is really important and we need to make that shift from just acting ex post in the relief and recovery space, which still is the easier thing to do and the more traditional thing to do. But we know that the economic case for prevention is there. Um, prevention pays off. So there is this average that $1 invested in prevention will save $5 in future losses. The challenge with that is that um, we're still not acting on that good information that we have. And with we, I mean society at large, um, because still about 87% of the total money invested in disaster risk overall is going into the exposed relief and recovery space. It's definitely the issue of encouraging people to invest in prevention is everybody's business, uh, that the partnership between public and private sector is really something that every, everybody could agree to. We are discussing between the European institutions to replace the uh, former mechanism about civil protection and to establish a new uh, European mechanism for civil protection. Uh, it is a very important initiative from Commissioner Stylianidis. The name of this uh, initiative is Resc EU, and for the first time European Union tries to uh, uh, prepare uh, European instruments against the physical disasters and humanitarian disasters. If you know what the risks are, you can be prepared, obviously. Um, far too often uh, we react to disasters after they've occurred. It's chaos, uh, it's dramatic, it's newsworthy. Sadly, uh, it doesn't need to be newsworthy to be effective. It's very important to look at uh, well outside of these uh, mediatic uh, events and to prepare, uh, looking at all these risks, the vulnerability of populations, as I said, and assets, and study that to make the resilience uh, greater. Very often. Often we're thinking very linearly in um, physical protection and we talked a little bit about going beyond just financial risk transfer and physical protection actually as the two classical instruments but that in the resilience space there's much more that you can do about um, uh, people's awareness and understanding of risk social cohesion and how a community can socially work together so there's really a spectrum within um, the resilience uh, space of many many interventions that you can do and I think that also should act as a motivation that um, it is easy to prevent and very often it's not just cost effective but if you do it at the right time, at the right place, then actually doing prevention um, comes at no additional cost at all. Mm -hmm.